assalamu alaikum how are you yes i am engineer atik and uh, i am very sorry for the last week i was ill and uh, i have some mouth problems so that's why i couldn't upload the video last uh, saturday <laughs> so uh, anyhow uh, i am back with the today's session and uh, again uh, in the previous session we have seen that uh, we will we had worked on the uh, excavation and uh, actually how we performed uh, estimation of the excavation and then how we transferred the data of estimation which we have uh, put or which we have uh, computed on plan swift and then we shifted it to the excel so basically uh, if we continue from the, our previous session we will be going to see that how we will be going to perform uh, estimation on our next level so uh, as we have uh, finalized in our previous videos that we will be going to start from excavation up to the footings and up to the ground floor and second floor and so on so in today's video uh, we will be having a next stage estimation and that estimation is our foundation so uh move to the screen and we will see that which type of foundation we will be going to have in our this project and uh, yes we will be performing its estimation and uh, we will be seeing that how we will be going to perform the estimation of uh, different types of footing so i assume that we all know that how many types of footings are there uh, there will be uh, isolated footings and uh, wall footings and not in this project but we will be having mat and uh, raft footings uh, in our projects as well so anyhow let's move to the screen and we will be seeing that how we are going to perform the estimation of uh, wall footings so let's move this was the sheet which we uh, these were these are the plans which we have uploaded before and uh, uh, in the previous sessions we have worked on this sheet in which we, we have uh, excavations and uh, we know that there are two different types of excavation two different depths of excavation actually on our plans and today we will be going to footing and i have already scaled it and uh, let's give a brief look on our excavation plan and see that uh, what do we have or which type of footings we have so on a general look uh, i can see that we are having uh, we will be having wall footings in this area and then we are having few isolated footings for columns uh, at the entry of the building so if i see that we are having wf2 wf3 and yes we are having wf1 so wf2 is 3 feet 9 inches thick uh, wide while wf1 is 4 feet wide and w3 is 2 feet and 6 inches wide so we will be going to uh, mark them separately and for that we will be going to choose the linear and here we will be writing wf1 so press ok and go to the and go and mark so it's actually drawing box so let me just click over here record mode and it's moved to the point to point and i'm going to mark wf1 so i will be fast forwarding the video to complete the wf1 marking So here I am. I have marked all the WF1 footing. Uh, you will have to move uh, like this. You will need to mark all the WF1 as I have marked. And now I will be moving to WF2. So again, uh, write WF2 and mark all the WF2s which you have. So if I mark this, and uh, while marking, I will be fast forwarding the video uh, just to not waste your time. So these are the WF2 which I am marking. So I, uh, here we have seen that uh, most of the exterior wall footing is WF2, which is 3 feet and 9 inches wide. So I am done with WF2. Now the only uh, wall footing which remains is WF3. So let's mark WF3. So you can uh, pick any type of colors or any colors which you want. And uh, I assume you have followed my previous videos and you know that how we will be uh, 
exiting from the command and how we are going to mark a new set of uh, uh, what you can say a section of the uh, markings which I am which we are making. So uh, I have shown I have shown it in my previous videos that how we are, we are you know I am not in the editing command I am in the editing command but I am not doing anything. So there, in previous videos I have shown that how I am marking this. So that's done. I have marked my all the wall footings and uh, yes that is how we will be marking our uh, wall footings. Yes that's all from the today's session that how we will be marking our wall footings. Uh, well I believe today's session is a shorter one uh, but the main objective of this session is that that you understand the concept and you understand the uh, usage of this plane swift that how we will be using it so if you are learning these two main objectives of this session uh, I'm very much happy and this is very uh, satisfying for me that I'm fulfilling my purpose and uh, that's uh, yes I would love your feedbacks drop your feedbacks in my comment sections like the videos share my videos and uh, yes I will be seeing you in my next session and yes 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 don't forget to support me on patreon support my work on patreon and uh, see you in the next video take care